It is 2 a.m. and time to head to Amsterdam. It's nice and warm. Whoa. Yeah. Could I look any more touristy? Nope. Oh, it's warm. <laughs> It's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so first off, this is the room. We have big old wardrobe here for all of your storage needs. Not that we have any because we only have hand luggage, but anyway, come on through. We have a desk and a mirror and stuff. And here we are. So we have a ginormous bed here, a TV, if you like foreign TV channels, a nice little desk over there and a phone so you can call reception. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. It's um, just a kind of, what's the word? Kind of studio type thing. Kettle over there and all that kind of stuff. So we've got a nice kind of walk-in bathroom here as well. So we've got the sink, toilet, and a nice big walk-in shower as well. But one thing left is I've got to show you guys the view because this, this to me, some, some people at home might not think this is very cool, but I think this is really cool. So it's just come a little bit closer. As you can see, we have a kind of like the back of houses, like city view kind of thing, like Amsterdam looking houses, and you can see like all different colours and, and stuff. And yeah, I just I, I think it's cool. Um, you can see like people's kitchens and people's bathrooms though, which is kind of weird, but yeah. So uh, that's it, guys. That's the room. Nice and simple. And um, yeah, let's go. just at breakfast right and we heard these other there's not many English people here there's not really that many is there no. what would you say no there's, <laughs> there was, must only be a handful and then we heard the one British couple behind us say then why does she ask me what Brexit means like, what's Brexit and I was just like what like what <laughs> how what Jit, how in any Way, shape, form, living, being, thing. Can you be British and not know what the fucking hell Brexit is? What? This guy who's clearly been on like a tour or something like that with his girlfriend, and because he said, I heard him say to her, um. Well, why would she ask me that then? And the girlfriend was just like, because it affects everyone. And he was just like, yeah, but I don't know what it means.
Can Charlotte Paul go? So that was the Heineken experience. All in all, in my opinion, a very good experience. Personal highlight having to be the whole like DJ set kind of thing. And it was only like 15 euros. You got a few drinks on the way around and we got to test out like this brand new thing, which was literally new the day before and they might be replacing some old thing. And I don't know the ins and outs of it. If you go, I would, if you go to Amsterdam, I would definitely recommend it. Next up is the ice bar. In between that, we've just kind of seen the sights and all that kind of stuff, had a couple of drinks and you know, watched the boats go by. Just let the time fly by and enjoy the time in Amsterdam. So as I say, next up is the ice bar where you actually get three drinks included in the price. And I think it was around about 18 to 20 euros. I could be wrong, but that kind of pays off the price of the drinks. And then you get to just basically enjoy these drinks that you've already paid for in the in the ice bar. And so it makes it kind of like a good all round experience. So should be good. Let's go. Go on. <laughs> it's going to go everywhere. It's fine, go. Put the towel underneath it then. <clears throat> I'm scared. It'll only be a small charge to the room, it's okay. Nope. Oh. Oh. oh, we're good, we're good. <clears throat> Ta da! Ta da! <laughs> <clears throat> it's a bit early. <clears throat> you know what? Heineken's bang average. Unfortunately, that is it. We are back in the UK and the eagle-eyed of you will have noticed, if you're not regular viewers of the channel, that we are already actually back in Nottingham and that I wore this t-shirt and this hat. Wow. Just for the effect of the video, because I wanted to give this Amsterdam video the amount of time that it deserved to be a good video that I want to look back on and remember, you know, in five, ten years time when I look back on this trip. That's actually one of the reasons that I love creating videos, because you can go places and have these videos set in stone that you've made, you've crafted, you've, you've you know, you've filmed and done everything by yourself. And then you can look back at it in five years time and just think how good the memories were. So that is it for the Amsterdam vlog, guys. I'm back in Nottingham now. Expect training videos, expect normal vlogs, university vlogs all that kind of stuff. There might be a review here or there coming. I'm not too sure when though. So stay tuned on my Instagram for that. LSJ underscore fitness. The link will be in the description box. Like if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you so much for watching guys. Together we will grow in 2018. As always remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.